Located on the outskirts of Ernakulam district, close to the beautiful and picturesque mountain ranges of Kodanad, there is a small and innocent village, Kuvapadi. Kuvapadi is blessed with the services of the organization Bethlehem Abaya Bhavan. As the name suggests, Abaya Bhavan is a home for the homeless, a safe haven for the mentally challenged and socially neglected people of our community. Currently, the organization is home to more than 450 inmates who are provided with a home, food, medical and psychiatric care along with the love, care and support of our staff. Abhaya Bhavan was founded in the year 1998 by Mrs. Mary Estepan who was an ordinary homemaker and a mother of three children. One day, after attending a divine retreat along with her three children, she was approached by an old man in his 80s for some help. He spoke a different language. He was actually speaking Tamil and in that language he said, I am hungry. She understood what he meant. She gave him some money and then she began to walk away. But after taking a few steps, she stopped and she returned to this person and asked him, do you want to come with me? He had a small shoulder bag with him and he put it properly back in his shoulders and happily said, yes. Mrs. Mary quotes, she felt that this person has been sent to her by the Almighty God. And finally, she understood her true calling in life. So, with the kind-heartedness of our patron, Reverend Father George Potankara, and the local community of Kuwapadi village, Mrs. Mary began this institution with just five inmates. As of now, Bethlehem Abeya Bhavan has more than 450 inmates living here and they call it their homes. Also, more than 1,000 people have come and gone through this organization in the span of 20 years. There are several great people in our country who go out of their comfort zones to make a difference in our community. Mrs. Mary is truly one among them and we need more people like her and this would help to resolve many issues of our country. Mary certainly had the intent, but it was never easy for her. Even from the beginning, she had to face a lot of objections and rejections from many people. But her determination and her passion to help people from the streets kept her going. Today, Bethlehem Abhaya Bhavan is one of the largest independent organizations in Ernagulam district. State government helps to some extent and occasionally uh, grants funds. State Government of Kerala helps to some extent, but that is not enough to run the organization smoothly. The organization also receives generous donations from many well-wishers. Even though the organization still runs because of the sheer hard work of Mrs. Mary, the organization also provides vocational training programs for the inmates. They teach them to make handicrafts, candle making, etc. This helps them to become productive members of the society. The organization also teaches yoga to the residents and this helps them to gain more control over their own minds. Many students from many colleges come to Abhaya Bhavan maybe for one day, maybe they will come out you know, once in a week and they would come here and do selfless voluntary work to help our residents. They conduct many recreational programs for our residents and this helps the, our residents to engage with them. Most of the inmates here are bought by police and social workers of like-minded organizations. They would tend to be violent when they arrive but after some time they settle down and begin to talk with our staff.
when a new client comes when they are bored by the police you know they will most definitely be hungry that is one of the most important factors why this people are violent so the first thing that abia bawan does is to is to give them food you know once they have the food it helps them to eventually settle down so after a couple of weeks when they finally settles down they reveal their identity that who they are where they are from etc and this helps us to reach out to their families and effectively relocate them with their own families over the span of 20 years Bethlehem Abaya Bowen has relocated many residents to their own families. However, this is not always the case. Many residents would give out the right information about their relatives, for example, a phone number or an address. But unfortunately, not everybody is willing to take them back. What is truly unfortunate is most of the residents get better within a few weeks of care. Sadly, many relatives of these clients fail to see it. Honoring Mary's work towards socially neglected and mentally challenged people. Mary has received many awards and recognitions, both national and international, and the most auspicious of it was the 2017 State Vanida Ratnam Award. Also, Bethlehem Abaya Bhavan has helped three female inmates to get married and now they lead an independent life. Abaya Bhavan has been doing an exceptional service to these unfortunate people for the last 20 years and they will continue to do so in the future. Over the span of 20 years, Abaya Bhavan has been doing an exceptional service and will continue to do so. However, Abaya Bhavan has some limitations. For example, some of the people who are living in Abaya Bhavan are mentally cured. Unfortunately, Abaya Bhavan doesn't have buildings to relocate them, for example, to provide a rehabilitation therapies. So for the future Bethlehem Abaya Bhavan requires new buildings to relocate people who are mentally cured so they can be rehabilitated much effectively the organization accepts all the help that we can get in order for the smooth running of the organization the uh, Bethlehem Abaya Bhavan seek your prayers kind generous donations and encourage people to come here and do direct service to our clients